use of CSS class property of any control in ASP.NET. So let us see uh, a page is there in that put one label and then change its ID. So change ID of label. Let's say LBL message. Apply text. Hello. Now what is the CSS class? See when you want to apply same format means background color, border style, border color, border width, font style, font color, etc. So this, this is known as the formatting of control. So when you want to apply same kind of the formats to number of controls at that time instead of uh, selecting a one by one property and setting its value for all controls one by one we can define one CSS class and then we can use that CSS class for all the controls. So this CSS class property can be applied to any control at design time or you can apply at run time. Today we are going to uh, discuss about how to apply at runtime. So let's see. One label is there, right? Now we want to apply a formatting style to this label when uh, user applies when user wants to apply it. So we will provide two classes for the to the user and and two classes are used for different styles. So when user clicks on one style, uh, that uh, style will be applied to label. And when user clicks on another CSS class style, then that style will be applied to label. So let us create two buttons and change its ID. Let's say button CSS one and its uh, text. Let's say CSS class one. Then use one more button. Change its Text I say CSS class 2 and uh, ID is button CSS 2. Now, next is how to create CSS class. So, for that, go to the source means HTML code and you can apply the CSS using the style for tag, right? So, in style tag. You can define that style tag. Here I have already defined it. Let us remove it. Now, a style tag can be used between the head or body part of HTML form. So, let us define it. So, mention this style. So, you will get that automatically. Use this style tag. Define its type. Type is equal to in a double quotes and then complete this tag. So, in between that, you can use a style. Now, here you have to define a CSS class. So, you can define CSS class using the dot followed by the class name. It is user defined name. So, you can give any name. Then opening of brackets, class, then properties. Let's say uh, we want to apply background color. Background color is say, apply any light color to the background. Then you want to set border so next is next property is border and uh, so first select the border style you select the border style like say solid then border um, width is that so you want to change the width of border you can use border width attribute and its value thick thin medium whatever then say you want to change uh, border style border color okay so let us see border color border color give any color to border of label say red then you need to apply by uh, say we want to change the font of text of label so you can use font family so font family and colon it allows you to change the style of font so let us say Vardana then say font size in terms of pixels let's say 30 pixels So, in this way, you can set the different attributes and uh, 
it with its value suppose you also want to change the text color so you can use the color attributes color and then say blue right so this is the style this style you have defined inside the css class and the name of class is css1 same way you also want to define another style another style and in a class so define another class with a different name so i want to use same properties but with a different value so i am going to change its value only not the properties name so make copy and paste change, change the class name as to and then you just require to change its value we want to apply same property but with different values so background color is say let us select the light color right mm, okay no problem gray then border style change its value double then same way you can change the other attributes value i don't want to apply the same style to the border or border width right so change border width as instead of thick let's say thin then border color it's say blue same way you can change this all properties value like suppose instead of size 20 30 pixel let's say 20 then we want to change the color of text let's say pink and then you can set so in this way you can set the different values of the different properties now next is when the user clicks on this button we want to apply it so click from go to the designing part and then double click on this button it will open this css.cs file where you can write the code so when user clicks on button we want to apply the style to the label that we have created its id is lbl msc dot css class property is equal to the class we have created in html source its name is css1 and same way when user clicks on the second button we want to apply the second so let us copy control c control v and then change the class name and now you can run this and test it So let us say CSS. See you here. You can see we don't we no, we have not applied any formatting property to this label at the designing time. But we are going to apply it at the runtime when user clicks on a particular button. So when a user clicks on this class one, what the properties with the value you have defined inside CSS class one that will be applied. Same way when user clicks on this class two what the properties or attributes you have defined inside css class 2 that will be applied let us click on css class 1 so you can see here and if i click on css class 2 you can see so in this way you can use the css class property for any control in asp.net thank you